My dear brothers and sisters here at Lusaka Central Congregation and all the connected congregations, I ask you to rise and join in the opening hymn for the commencement of the divine service. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Almighty God, dear Heavenly Father, 
On this Sunday morning, we gather together to worship you and to praise your name. You are the Holy One. You are the Almighty One. You are the Loving One. And we thank you because we have been, we could experience your power and your love. We, help, we thank you for your help in our daily life. We thank you for the salvation. We thank you for the future you've prepared for us. Dear Heavenly Father, we pray together for all those who are suffering. They are longing for your help and your comfort. Please provide them all they need. And if it's possible, deliver them from their burden. We pray for the morning one, please comfort them. We pray for all the people around the world who are facing that time. Please, whenever it's possible, provide peace. And now, dear Heavenly Father, we are longing for your grace and for your words. We need new strength. We want to be joyful in Christ. Please grant us all we need to be strong and joyful children of God. Let our beloved ones from the, yon, from the yonder world join us. And bless us all together. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Dear brothers and sisters here and in all the connected congregations in the free countries, for this festive service, we have a Bible word out of Matthew chapter 6, a part of verse 13. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Koma mutipuru muse kwa oipayo. Please be seated. Chonde kalani pansi. Choir and orchestra in Christ alone.
Okay, brothers and sisters. We are very thankful to our Heavenly Father that we can be together to, today here and in all the connected congregations. And I think it's the wish of all of us. We want to be and to become rich in Christ. So no, and today our Heavenly Father gives us one more opportunity to become richer in Christ. The Holy Spirit wants to lead us into the knowledge of Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit wants to teach us about Jesus Christ. And the more we know and the more we understand Jesus Christ, the richer we are. The disciples spend a lot of time with Jesus. And they could see quite often Jesus went to a remote place and he prayed. And they realized that each time he had prayed, he became stronger. He got a lot of strength while praying. And they came to the conclusion, oh, when Jesus prays, that must be something special. He gets a lot of strength. So they came to Jesus and asked, please, Lord, teach us to pray. So no mumemo anabuela yesu. And first Jesus told them how to pray. He told them, don't pray to be seen by many people. And you know, your prayer doesn't need to be very loud and very long to be answered. It's funny because many Christians didn't get that. So no, Christian They feel that their prayer must be seen and heard by everybody. It must be loud and long to be answered. And Jesus said quite the contrary. So no, You don't need to make long and loud prayers. I will say you how to pray and then he taught them the Lord's prayer. So no, And in his Lord's prayer, he taught us to pray, do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. So no, I know, when we think about it, it sounds strange. Jesus tells us to ask God not to lead us into temptation. Does God want to lay a trap for us to fall into sin? No, by no means. God doesn't want us to fall into sin. He wants us to overcome sin. But then what does it mean? Do not lead us into temptation. We can find the explanation as usual in Jesus Christ. Remember, when Jesus Christ was baptized, he heard the voice of his father telling him, You are my beloved son. And immediately after that, 
The Holy Spirit led Jesus into the desert to be tempted. So God sent him to be tempted by the evil one. Did God want him to fall into sin? No, for sure not. But there was a reason for this temptation. Jesus came as a man. And God has provided each and every man with the freedom of choice. That's the way God has made men. Everyone has the possibility to make his own decisions. He has to say freely, I follow God. But to make a decision, you need to have the choice, otherwise no need to decide. So Jesus as a man, he had to be tempted to make the decision. I follow God or I follow the evil one. So That was the reason of the temptation. He had to decide to make a clear decision. I am on the side of God. The Son of God was sent to overcome sin. But to overcome, you have to fight. No fight, no battle, no victory. So he had to be tempted, had to fight, to overcome. And that's this exactly the same for all of us. God wants us to decide, to make a clear decision, who do you want to follow? On which side are you? And he wants us to overcome sin. We have to make a clear decision for God and we have to overcome the evil. And so when we pray, do not lead us into temptation but deliver us from the evil one. We have to make a clear decision for God and we have to overcome the us. In order for us to make the good decision and strengthen us in order for us to overcome sin. That's the meaning. Or God help us to make the good decision and to overcome. Let's go to temptation to the temptations of Jesus Christ. You know them by heart, no need to tell the whole story. The devil came and told Jesus, if you are son of God, then command that these stones become bread. You know, Jesus was hungry. He had no food for 40 days and 40 nights. And now the devil came and said, But if you would be son of God, you, you heard God told you you are his beloved son, and see, you are hungry. You have no food. Is that normal? The devil wanted him to doubt. Yeah, God said you are beloved son and see, you are starving. 
Ukuti ndiwe mwana wa Mulungu, taona sopano uli ndi njala iwe. And Jesus resisted. Ndipo Yesu anakana, he knew my father told me I'm his beloved son. I believe him. I trust him. He overcame doubt. Ndipo Yesu anati ndizi wa kuti ndi mwana wa Mulungu, ndi mukulupilira, ndiponso ndi kamtima wanga mwa iye. Ye tatu. The devil said, but okay, if you are son of God, then you have some special gifts and power. Then use it to get what you need. So no mudi rekeja kuti ngati ndiwe mwana wa mulungu. So no, uli ndi mpavu za padela. Ndiye, mwili sila nchito mpavu zimenezi za padela. Kuti upezo simene ufuna. And Jesus refused to use his power to to get what he needed in his daily life. Yesu anaka anakuguli sila nchito mpavu zimenezi kutia peze zofu na zake mumoyo. He made a good decision. He decided, no, the strength I have is to overcome evil, not to provide for my earthly life. So no, he anadisankila buino kuti mpavu yake ni yaku gonje sa chimo osati kupeza zintu zapa zikola pansi. Our temptation so no, yes, so that we say. The devil comes and you say you are a child of God. But is that normal that you suffer, that you are missing this, that you have this lack and this lack? Is that normal? Are you sure you are a child of God? If you would be a child of God, you wouldn't suffer, so you are not a child of God. In a kala kutindi we mwana wa mulungu, asembe si uvutika mmenu uvutikila, motelo sindi we mwana wa mulungu. And we pray, Lord, help us to overcome doubt and to trust you. Ndiye no tipe mpela, ambuye, tipase ni impavu ya kuti, tisakale o kaika, kutindi kulupira inu chape. The thought can come, okay, you are a child of God, so you can pray. So no, akutinsu ngatini, we mwana wangu lungu, uko za kupendela. You can go to the service and listen to God's word. So no, uko za kupita kuina ndi kuvelansu mawe yangu lungu. You can read the Bible, you can understand it. So no, unga vele nge, bukulo patulika ndi kuivesesa. You are a member of a church. So no, mu zinalata chisu wako. And then the temptation comes. Ndiye no mweso kuza to use all these things to improve our daily life. So no kugiri sila njito zimenezi kuditi peze za umoyo watu wa siku ndi siku. And when we pray, we pray, oh God, heal me, I'm suffering. God, help me, I want to become rich. So pano pamele dipe mpela tikuti mulungu undichiri ise chifukwa ndi nduwala. Ndiye no undipaze mpavu chifukwa nifuna kuti ndi mpile mere. When we read the Bible, we, we are looking for a word. Oh, this is a word. Oh, God promised me I will become rich. I will be successful. Oh, that's a nice so word. So that's what we do. When we come to service, God, tell me what I need to do to be successful. So no pamele timbelo mapempelo, mulungu ni uze. Tell me what I have to do to be a rich and successful man. Okay, we are member of this church. This church should provide for me. So no ine diwe rengeto kachisi umene yuko moyo kachisi sandi funa sandi pata vintu. And doing that, the devil wants us to forget our salvation. So no, mago chita ichi, mudeleke zafu na kuti ife tiyuale chipuru muso chato. Oh, God help us to make a good decision. So no, mulu ngwafu na kuti ife tigamule, pina tizisankile, buino buino. We follow Christ. We are new apostolic because we want to enter the kingdom of God. We want to be delivered one from the evil one. Ji, akachisya tumi, chifukwa tifu na kupuru musidwa, kusata yesu, we pray to be delivered from the evil one. 
We come to the service, we listen to God's word. We belong to this church because we want to enter the kingdom of God. That's our priority. Oh God, help me to do the, to make the good decision. So no ambuye nditandi zeni kutindi zisankile bwino. I'm a child of God because I want to enter the kingdom of God. That's my very first priority. Ndine mwana wa Mulungu, chifukwa cha kuti ndifuna kuloba mufumu wa Mulungu, ndiye choyamba mu moyo wanga chimenecho. For sure we can come to God and say, as Jesus said, give us our daily bread. We we pray for our earthly existence. Inde tingampempe Mulungu kuti monga Yesu ana nena mbukulo patulika. But that's not our priority. That's not why we belong to this church. Follow Christ and his apostles to enter the kingdom of God. Then the devil came to Jesus and showed him all the kingdom of earth and their glory. So no, mudelekezi anaza kwa Yesu and he told him, if you worship me, if you kneel down in front of me, you will get all these kingdoms and their glory. He even said, I can do it, I can give it to whom I want. And Jesus didn't accept that. Because he knew I didn't come on earth to be served, but to serve. didn't come to become rich and to get everything. And yeah, to use my power to become successful. Because the time I'm busy with my well-being, I forget my mission. I'm not here to become rich. I'm here to serve the Lord, my God, and to serve men. Dear brothers and sisters, that's also the problem when we are too busy with our earthly life. The risk is that we forget that we have been elected to fulfill a mission. We have been called by God to serve him here on earth and in the kingdom of peace. We have been called by God to serve in his church and to serve our neighbor. Oh God, help me to make the good decision. I decide to serve God and to serve my neighbor. That's why I have been elected for. And for sure, the devil said, if you adore me, I will give you everything. So no, and he keeps the same strategy today. He shows us, look around you. If you accept to sin, you will get much more than while observing the commandments of God. If you accept to lie, if you don't be honest, if you accept to steal, if you accept not to respect your neighbor, you will get much more. I will give it to you. 
ngati ulandila kukala osa kulupilika ndiye ngati ulandila kusati mikila munzako ndiza kupasa zonse zikuti zikale zaiwe and sadly enough we can see many examples he does so no akuti ona sopano izi zonse aona and the one who lies the one who is a thief the one who doesn't respect his neighbor he gets a lot of money ndiye mtu wa boza umene sakurupilika umenenso akuba ndikusalemekeza munzake ndiye kuti apeza zonsezi the devil can do it ndiye akona kuchita zimenezo god's help me to overcome this temptation ife tikuti mulungu munditandize kuti ndilake chimu Deliver yes, me. Deliver me from the evil one. Ndi purumuse kwa uipayo. I do not want to sin to be successful. Sindi funa kuchimwa makuti nditukuke ndipeze zinthu. That doesn't mean that we have to remain poor and uneducated. Sijitandauza kuti tena kukala umphawi osapunzira. But our first priority is to respect the commandments and the will of God. So no choyamba cha mumuyo watu ndikulemekeza malamulo ndichifunilo cha mulungu oh god help me to overcome the temptation ambuye munditandizire kuti ndilake mayeso for temptation so no mayeso devil led jesus on the top on the pinnacle of the temple so pano anaperekanso satana pamwamba pasindwi ya kachisi and he told him fool yourself down from the temple ndiye anamuuza kuti gwa kuchokera pasindi kumenepo and it's written in the scripture the angels will come because you are son of god the angels will come and they will grab you they will bear you chifukwa ncholembe to mubuku lopatulika kuti ukagwa iwe angelo azakugwira chifukwa ndiwe mwana wa mulungu azakugwira angelo it's written in the bible in the in the scripture god will do this for his child so no ndicholembe to mubuku lopatulika kuti mulungu azachita chimene chiku mwana wache and once more jesus said no by no mean so no yesu ananthing so tsininga chiti tsimenecho because he was aware the devil wants me to impose my will to god chifukwa nadzi wakuti mudierekezi afuna kuti nditenge chifunilo changa kuchipasa mulungu and that's the same temptation today so no ndichi ndi mu yesu wachi mozi mozi nsolelo we say yeah if it's written in the bible if you obey the commandments so no tine na kuti ncholembe to mbuku lopatulika kuti ngati usunga malamulo if you are faithful ngati ndi okulupilika if you pray in the right manner so no ngati upempela munjira yolungama then god will do this and this and this so pano mulungu azakuchitira ichi ndichi ndichi i'm sick no dwala I want to be healed. Ndifuna kuchilisidwa. And if I pray in the right manner, strong enough. So no ngati ine ndipempela munjira yo funikira ndiye ndimphavu nditu. If I ask the right people to pray for me. Ngati ndipempa vaja wo wo funikira vaja kuti vandipempelere ine. If I'm faithful, I give my offerings. So pano ngati ndo kulupilika ndipeleka nsembe zanga. Then God will heal me. So no mulungu azandichirisa. Oh, have you forgotten who you are? Kodi, iwe wai wala kuti ndiwe ndani. You are just trying to impose your own will to God. Uye uye saye sachabe kuti uike chifunilo chako pamwamba pa mulungu. I do this this and this and then you God please do this. Ine ndifuna kuchita ichi na ichi na ichi. So no naiwe mulungu chita ichi. The devil was right. It was written in the scripture. So no apa ndicholembe ndo malemba. But Jesus had a much more a much higher knowledge of god so no yes we anati anati kala nzelu za mbili za kudziwa mulungu i said i cannot tempt god i cannot impose my will to my heavenly father yes we anati sindinga yese mulungu wanga sindinga tenge chifunilo changa kuchipa 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 tikiza pa mulungu and his prayer was quite a different one so no kupembera kwache kunali kosiana remember he didn't want to die Muzi wakuti sana ali kuenda kukafa he was afraid from suffering so no anali kupemperera aja or butika but he asked his father if it's possible take away this cup from me 
but your will be done not my will ana pembera kwa tate wache ngati chiteka chosani chiko ichi kutali ndine koma kusachitike chifunilo changa koma chifunilo chano chichitike brothers and sisters and that's the knowledge the holy spirit wants to lead us in abale ndialongo ndiye nzelu zimene muzimu yela ufuna kuti tipedzekemo mnzelu zimenezi For sure we need the help and we are longing for the help of God. Zona ditifuna tandizo ndipo tifuna tandizo ya Mulungu. But let us remain humble towards our heavenly Father. Koma tie ni tizichepese nditu pamatupotezo watu wa kumwamba. We want as children of God to become like Jesus and to follow his example. Tifuna funa monga na Mulungu kukala monga Yesu ndikusata chisanzo chache. And so we tell God please if it's possible help me but your will be done not my will I do not want to impose my will Koma ti pempanso mulungu kusingati chiteka munditandize mulungu koma usati changa chifunilo koma chifunilo chano choka chichitike God didn't accept to take away the cup from Jesus he had to drink it So no mulungu sana chose chiko chija kwa Yesu Yesu anachimwa but God helped him to overcome and gave him the strength to be victorious so no mulungu anamutandiza kulaka ndikumpasa mphavu za kulaka nditu so our prayer so no kupempera kwathu god help me to overcome my own will mulungu munditandize kuti ndingonjese pena ndilake chifunilo cha ineneka that's the prayer of the faithful one ndiye pempelo la munthu okulupilika but since it be aware there are some people we think oh if they pray for me then god will react abale ndi alongo timaganiza nthawi zina kuti kuli vanthu veni wamene tiganizira kuti pakati pemperela mulungu anachichita that means that there are some people they have enough power to impose their will to god ndiye apo muganizira kuti kansi aliko anthu ena amena ali nayo mphavu yakupatikiza chifunilo chao kwa mulungu come to me if i pray for you god will react bwera kwa ine ine ndikakupemperera mulungu achichita and suddenly these men these women become more important than god so no mamusanga musanga uyu mwamuna uyu kapena mukazi uyu so no akala wa mukuru kupamba na mulungu and you become their servant So no iwe ndiwe kapolo wache they can ask you to do whatever they want you will do it because oh they these have the power chifuka waka kuuze kubachita chimene ungafune chili chonzi kusatira iwo wamvera iwo no need for other explanations so no kuli benzo tokufunda kwa zinthu zimene in the work of god we are led by the holy spirit munchito ya mulungu ifetsa goleledwa ndi muzimu oyela sorry that's definitely another level so no kuli benzo chitu china We want to become like Jesus. Kifuna kukala monga Yesu. Lord help me to overcome my own will I trust you. Ambuye munditandize kuti ndilake chifunilo changa ndikulupirira inu. Another meaning of this temptation of the temple. So no tantizo zolina la Yesu limene lila nthawino. The devil wanted to convince Jesus if now you do a great miracle then everybody will see you are the son of God and they will follow you. Sono akuti nsonga ti uchita zozizwisa zodabwisa sono anthu ambiri azakukonga chifuka uone kandi umana wa mulungu oh, that would have been something sono apo ndiye chama chifunikira whole city of jerusalem see a man climbing on the temple jumping and the angels come and oh and be him oh that would be something muzinda wonso wa yerusalem vakuona munthu sono alumba kuchokera pamwamba paja sono akuti ndiye wamene but jesus knew That's not the way the father wants me to attract people. So no Yesu anati sindiye njira amene tate afuna kuti nditanile mo vanthu. I have to love them and if I love them they will follow me. Ine njira yomwe ndikulisira nchito ndi akuti ndiye nila kuwakonda ndipo ndikawakonda iwawa azandisata. You know this sentence If you opposes are true opposes that should do great they should do great miracles so we would believe these are really opposes so no anati ngati somano azakala ndikuchita zozizwisa 
Kuti achizozizwisa akulupirira kuti awandie atumwe nditu. Oh that will be nice. The chief apostle comes to Ruzuka. All the sick ones come. I will heal you. Sono mtumu wa mkulu wa bwela. Odwala onse bwelani so bano ndikuchirise nimwe. Jesus said, Yesu anati, love each other. And if you love each other, the world will see that you are truly my disciples. Yesu anati kondanani wina ndi munzache. Ndipomuka kondana wina ndi munzache ziko rizaziwa kutindinu afusata ine. Our love for each other, our unity in Christ is the sign and the proof that we are children of God. Chikondi chatu kwa wina ndi munzache nimunzache chiyanjano chatu ndiye chomwe chionesa kuti nditu ndife akupunzira Yesu Kristu anamro we recognize a true apostle because he loves god and he loves the children of god he loves all men mutumi wene wene wa Yesu Kristu aziwika chifukwako ndamulungu ndikukonda namu again i'm always surprised that a big part of the christianity has forgotten that it's the word of jesus we didn't demand that so no ndida ba kuti ambiri ya usogoleri ya kuti ayu wala chimene ichi we are told by the holy spirit tinasangidwa ni muzimu oyela he tells us the truth ndiye ati uza chiona ndi you won't recognize that this is the work of god by the miracles done by the apostles so in this church so no saka mbabozo ya kuti kuli maye zoziswa zimenechitika mkachi zimene mu mkachi zimwamulu if you have love for each other then the world will see that you are my disciples so no ngati mukonda na wina ndi munzache dziko lidzadziwa kuti ndinu akusata Yesu if you are one in Christ then the world will see that the father has sent me said Jesus so no ngati muli mumozi ndiye kuti dziko lidzadziwa kuti tatu andituma okay it's not understandable by everybody so no sisive sesa kwa kuti aliense umenechi but that's the true teaching of Jesus. Komandio menichili. Oh God, help me. Mulungu munditandize to act according to your will. Help me to increase my love for God and for my neighbor. Kuti ndikonde inu ndikugwiri ndikuonjezera chikondi changa kwa inu pamozi ndikukonda muzanga. See, that's a few thoughts about this well known prayer do not lead us into temptation but deliver us from the evil one so pano pempero limene li likulangulanzo msachitengere kwa oipa kwa kuyesedwa kwa mamutipuru msa kwa oipa we pray god please help us to overcome sin tipempera mulungu kuti chondi utandizire kuti tilake machimo help us to trust you and to overcome doubt mutitandizire kuti ife tikulupirire inu ndiku chosa tikaiko help us to overcome our own will mutitandi zile kuti tigonjese chifunilo chatu and to be one with you tikale umumozi ndiwe help me to make the good decision mutitandi zile kuti ine ndikale odzisangila bwino i am new apostolic because i want to be delivered from the evil one ndinakala wa tumwi chifukwa ndifuna kupulu musindo kwa uipa that's my priority I made a good decision. I'm in this church to serve the Lord and my neighbor. Help me to make the good decision. The decision to love my neighbor. That's our prayer. And I tell you, God will always answer this prayer ndikuzani kuti mulungu tawuzonja zakala wakuyanka mapempero awo amen ah now for many guests many district apostles district apostles helpers are here sono tili ndi alendo ambiri atumwazi gawo ndi atandizi awo alipano we have district apostle ehuya he works is in kenya Tinaidi sa poso huya umene agwisira agwira nchito mukinya. He works also in Uganda, Tanzania. Ndiku Uganda nso ndiku Tanzania. He may serve us. Ye nso akatumikira ife. And we oh we listen to the children's choir. Please. Children. So no oimba ana.
My dear brothers and sisters, dear friends and guests, I'm very thankful that our Heavenly Father made it possible that the Chief Apostle invited me here. And for the past few days, we've had a good time. I have really experienced a good fellowship with the brothers and sisters. And to see that this place is rich. There are lots of spiritual gifts. And there are lots of talents. Which the brothers and sisters are putting into God's work. And now we've come to the climax of the visit here. And the chief apostle served so beautifully with this word. Where he said here, repeating the words of Jesus in the prayer. Do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. And then he said that God does not want to lead us into temptation. That's not his will. But he can allow a temptation to come. And then what we should do is make a decision for God. When the, dis when the temptation comes to us, we have to decide for God. And he said that's what it means. In other words, we need to know what is important. Every time a temptation comes, we have to ask ourselves what is important. And while he was serving, I thought about the Apostle Peter and John. They were going for afternoon prayers. They came to the temple. And they found a man there who was disabled from birth. He wanted some money from them. Because he thought that's the most important thing. But they looked at him and Peter said, okay, look at us. And he looked intently, you know, hoping to get something from them. And then Peter spoke these famous words. Silver and gold I don't have. But that which I have I give unto you. In the name of Jesus Christ, stand up and walk. And he held him by hand and lifted him up and he was able to stand. Now that was a kind of riches. The apostle Peter was rich in love. He could see that this man, even if I give him a few coins, he is just going to continue begging here. And because he was rich in love, he said, let me give him what I have. Let me give him the love of God that I have. And the man received his healing and was happy. He started praising God. That's the kind of riches we need to have. When we are rich in love, when the temptation comes, we'll make the right decision. Because we know what is important. Then the chief apostle took us through the temptations that came to Jesus. 
I don't have to repeat all of them. But I want that there was this temptation, bow down to me and I'll give you all these things. It will still come to us. And then when that temptation comes, you have to decide for God. But thou shalt not bow to any other God except the Lord. So let us take this advice of the chief apostle. Always decide for God. And he will deliver us from the evil one. Amen. So that was a voice coming from Africa. Now let's go to Europe. And we listen to District Apostle Michael Erich. He's from South Germany and works also in many other countries in Africa and elsewhere. Africa. Otherwise, he would believe that I sent him to America. That doesn't work. Quiet place. Quiet. Yes. Uh, I'm from Africa. My dear brothers and sisters, at the beginning of the divine service, our chief apostle refers to the motto of this year. To be rich in Christ. And indeed, this is the case. We are very rich because we have our faith. It's a gift from our Heavenly Father. And it has a high, high value. We are rich because we are embedded in a congregation. We are rich because we have the apostolate of Christ. We are rich because we receive the word of God. Indeed, we are really rich. There is a wording that says there are a lot of poor people with a lot of money. Poor people with a lot of money. I think you can find these people here in Zambia. 
We can find them in Europe and in America as well. All over the world. What's that, what does it mean? In the earthly way, they are rich, yes. But the real important questions for them are not answered. The really important questions, where do I coming from? Why am I here on earth? Where do I going to? Brothers and sisters, we have these answers out of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We are coming out of the love of God. We are here on, earth, here on earth to fulfill our task and our mission. To spread out the gospel. And to live our life accordingly to the gospel. To, to follow Jesus Christ, that means as well to follow the apostles of Jesus. And we know where we are going to. We wait for the return of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we are absolutely sure that he will come. Because he himself gives us this permission. Of course we will have temptations in future as well. But brother and sister, use your power to overcome this. Take the hand of those who are going in, who are lead you to the goal. Follow the apostolate. And then you will always have peace. And you always will recognize, yes, I am rich in Christ. That's what I wish to all of you and to all the children of God around the world. As well in America. As well in America, because he mentioned America. And in Africa and everywhere. Amen. Amen. Honestly, we are thankful for these two contributions of the district apostles. We are thankful also for the contribution of the choir. And maybe you could sing another hymn. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Dear brothers and sisters, today too, Jesus is here 
and wants to use his power to forgive us our sins. For sure, during his working on earth, he did a certain number of miracles. He healed sick ones. But that had a special reason and a special meaning. In the Jewish tradition, sickness was a consequence of sin. If someone was sick, that meant for the Jewish people that he or his parents have committed a sin. So and thus his illness was a punishment of God. Now Jesus came and wanted to explain, I have the power to forgive sins. So to be understood by the Jewish people, he made some miracles and see, see, I can heal people, I can remove the consequence of sin, thus I can forgive sins. That was the meaning of the miracles. And as this was who uh, said, Peter in the beginning as an apostle, he also did some miracles and he healed some sick ones. God wanted the Jewish people to understand. See, now the apostles sent by Jesus then can proclaim forgiveness of sins. Sin is removed and the consequences of sins are removed. But Jesus and the apostles weren't sent to heal everybody. So no, yes, they did a few miracles for the Jewish people to understand they have the power to forgive sins and to remove the consequences of sins. But Jesus always also told them that sickness is not necessarily a consequence of sin. When the, when the parents came or when a blind man came, they asked him, who did sin, he or his parents? Because he's blind, somebody must have sinned. And he explained to them that's nothing to do, it's for the glory of God. Today, as new apostolic Christians, we do not believe that sickness is a consequence of sin. For sure, if I drink too much, I'm drunk every day, I will get sick, I will die, and that will be a consequence of my sin. And I don't need to pray. Oh God, deliver us. He tells me, you should have drunk less. <laughs> Maybe he knows somebody. <laughs> But seriously, what about a baby who dies? What about a mother who has cancer? 
who would, who would be silly enough to say, yeah, that's a punishment of God. Somebody has been sinning. My God, that would be terrible. That's not our understanding. That's permitted by the Lord. We do not understand why, but we trust him. But that's definitely not a punishment of God. So see, the Holy Spirit, again, led people in another level of understanding. And in the end, they, don't more, they didn't more miracles because it was no more needed, because people got it. And today we believe, yes, Jesus can forgive sins. Yes, the apostles can proclaim forgiveness of sins. We don't need miracle to believe that. We know it, we believe it. Jesus provides us the strength we need to overcome and to make the good decision through Holy Communion. And the whole power of Christ is included in Holy Communion. We get life from his life, strength from his strength. The efficiency of Holy Communion depends on our faith on our faith and on our resolution. If we come to Jesus this morning and tell him, Jesus, really, I do want to overcome. I do want to make the right decision to decide for God. We will receive through the Holy Communion the strength to do it. That's our faith, that's our experience. To prepare ourselves for the celebration of Holy Communion, let us sing together, Jesus was a friend of sinners. So not him be famosi, yes, and the boys in our team. Now we won't stand up and say the prayer the Lord Jesus taught us. Here we'll do it in English.
Now I proclaim unto you the glad tidings. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, your sins are forgiven. The peace of the risen one abide with you. Amen. 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 Almighty God, God of grace and God of mercy, how can we express our gratitude? We thank you for your grace and forgiveness of our sins. We thank you that you have elected us to become your children. We thank Jesus Christ who died for us and who has promised to come back to take us with him. We thank God the Holy Spirit for his guidance and his teaching. Now, dear Heavenly Father, bless, hear your people. Bless all the apostles and all their co-workers. Bless all the congregations. Let them be feel full of your peace, your joy. Let them be working and serving in love. Help us to find the souls you want to add to your people. And then send thy beloved son. We are longing for being in eternity with you. Hear us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now we shall celebrate Holy Communion. So no titenga kwando la mgonilo yena. Now the Lord's table is prepared. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I consecrate bread and wine for Holy Communion. And lay there upon the once broad, eternally valid sacrifice of Jesus Christ. For the Lord took bread and wine, gave thanks, and said, this is my body which is broken for you. This is my blood of the new covenant given for many for the remission of sins. Eat and drink. Do this in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this wine, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Amen. Amen. Body and blood of Jesus given for you. Amen. Body and blood of Jesus.
Please be seated. serving Holy Communion, please receive Holy Communion from the Apostles. Serving ministers, please take your positions. As we come forward to receive Holy Communion, we shall sing three hymns. And these are, I'll sing for the Lord, wonderful grace of Jesus, and glory, praise, and honor. The Lord now invites you to Holy Communion.
we shall sing the second Holy Communion hymn.
shall sing two verses only of In Jesus I Have Found Salvation. by the children the hymn in Chokwe I will sing for the Lord
choir will sing the second Holy Communion hymn, Wonderful Grace of Jesus. One verse only. Our dear Chief Apostle will now serve our brothers and sisters in yonder world. And as proxies, the Apostles Moses Michael Chipanda and Elvis Mubita Liyali will come to the altar. Oimirira Mizimuyo Lie Mutumi Chipanda. As a preparation, we shall sing while seated. So no, Tilio Nimbo. Rather, the solo and together with the solo. I have a savior.
Yeah, my dear brothers and sisters, our beloved ones from beyond the world are longing too for oh, receiving Holy Communion. They are not yet in the kingdom of God with Jesus Christ. And they need to celebrate Holy Communion to have, to have this intimate fellowship with their Lord as we do. They need also some strength. Sure, they are no longer tempted by the devil. We believe that they are in a realm where they are protected from the attacks from the evil one. But they have to overcome themselves. They are not yet an image of Jesus Christ. They still have to renounce certain opinions and certain thoughts they do not match with those of Jesus Christ. They still have to learn to love as Jesus Christ loves. And to overcome and to learn, they need strength. And they get it the same way we get it through Holy Communion. Now I ask the congregation to stand up. Now we invite you, our beloved one from the yonder world. Or more precisely, the Holy Spirit invites you. So no, Magukamba Mosimi Kizila Muzimoyela Kuita Naninu. To partake bread and wine with Jesus Christ. Kuti Mulandile Mugonloya and Yesu Christu. We are thankful for your sacrifices and your service. Ndifugo ya Mikila, Chifukasa Kuzipeleka Kwanu Nijito Yan. We the living one are thankful for your prayers. Ndiponso, Ndifugo ya Mikila, Kamba. And we thank God that we can have communion with you while we celebrate together Holy Communion. Now come all and receive what I lay into the hands and the hearts of the servants of God. The body and the blood of Jesus is given for you. Mm -hmm. The body and the blood of Jesus is given for you. For your peace and joy in Jesus Christ. For eternal life. And for eternal fellowship with God and with us in his kingdom. Amen. 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 So,
Thank you so much. Please be seated. The brothers can cover the chalices. Now, as you know, your district apostle, Charles Andula, is going to be retired. He has been ordained as an apostle in 87. That's a long time ago. He has served 10 years as a district apostle helper and 14 years as a district apostle. Okay, you know it better than me. And now I have to act. So no? My dear district apostle. <laughs> it's impossible to summarize your career. It's too long, sorry. So <laughs> no, but today, it's the day we want to express our gratitude. A long time ago, you have been ordained as an apostle, and Jesus has promised you through the Holy Spirit, I will be with you every and each day. And you have experienced that, and the Church has experienced that Jesus was with his apostles. And I think it's right that we thank Jesus that he has kept this promise. He was with his apostles he has sent. We thank God for the great work he could do through his apostles. We thank Jesus for the great things he did through his ambassadors. When we think about the number of comfort, of the amount of comfort, the number of forgiveness of sins, the number of prayers Jesus could do through you. So no and we can say, Jesus did great things through his servant. We praise his name, our Lord Jesus. And we as a congregation, we thank you. We thank you for your serving, for your sacrifices. Thank you for your prayers and for your love. And I think, yeah, in each congregation they would have another reason to thank you. But there's no need for a long speech. Sometimes two words are enough to express a lot. And these two words is just thank you. Out of the bottom of our heart. We had the grace to work together for a long time, I must say. And you've always been a good friend, a good co worker, and a great nice help. And I must say, to be honest, it was really a pleasure to work with you as a district apostle, as a chief apostle, also in the committee where you helped us. And your help was a precious one and we appreciated it. Thank you for your help, for your friendship and for your love. And now we wish you to enjoy your retirement. You deserve it. And you say, I often say that I mean it. I wish you to enjoy your retirement as Chief Apostle Labour enjoys his retirement. He sits in his congregation, he plays the organ, 
So pano iye amakala mupingo ni kutokoza. And he just say I became again a just normal child of God. So no akala kuti ine ndakala mupingo ndili nso mwanga mwana wa Mungu ali ense. And he's so happy. Ndio kondwa nditu. It's just great and I thank God that he gave this joy and peace to his great servant. So pano ndiko ndira nditu kuti iye akala nditu kondisha chikuru kapolo wa Mungu wa mkuru mimi. And that's our wish for you. That you can enjoy and share the same peace and the same joy in your congregation. Now we ask the congregation to stand up. My dear district of my dear friend. Here if I release you from your mandate as an active district apostle. So no ndiku tulusani inumu dindo wanu munchito yanu monga mtumu wachika and i place you into retirement so ndiku ikani mpumulo we thank you and your family for your sacrifices titoko zai nundi pamozi ndi banjalanu cha kamba kutipeleka kwanu and for your faithful service ndi kutumikila kwanu kokurupirika may god bless you and your family ipemba kuti mulungu wa dar es salaam nundi banjalanu pamozi but you remain our apostle and we do need your prayers and your support in the future. We do need you as we need all the retired to be an example. When I retire in the apostle, I often say, don't do what you have preached. So no, retired apostle. But don't do what you have preached. But do what the Holy Spirit tells you to do for his active servants. And then you will be still a great source of blessing. God bless you. Thank you. So now please be seated again. <laughs> Now I have to appoint a new district apostle. It's our doctrine and our faith in the new apostolic church that God elects the servants he wants to serve in his church. That's our faith. The servants are elected by God. That's our creed. And they are called by the apostles. When it comes to the district apostles, our faith is that God elects one man to be the district apostle and that the chief apostle has to find out who is the man called by God and to call him. That's my responsibility as a chief apostle. I have to give account to God, to nobody else, by the way. And I've been praying for a long time, I tell you, because the church of Zambia, Malawi, Zimbabwe is a big one. And that was a discussion between God and me, me and God. And allow, I allow nobody to interfere in this discussion. On the other hand, the district apostle has also to lead the church. And as the president of the International New Apostolic Church, I want the district churches to be led in the right manner. So I had many discussions with the three helpers. Zamba, Makanazi, Soko. Makanazi. <laughs> Bango, see? <laughs> and I ask them to come together so, and to tell me how they want the church to be led in the future. So, 
And they were together for a certain time with the people in charge of the administration. And that established a plan, that's the way we want to rule the church, or we want the church to be ruled in the future, whoever will become district apostle. Because no one of them knew who will be the next district apostle. And these three district apostle helpers, yeah. Mango Zamba and Soko, did a wonderful work. And they told me in the future we want that nobody can sign alone. Every, for every transaction, we will need two signatures. What we call the four eyes principle in management. The four eyes, they have four eyes to look at something. We will establish a board of, uh, board of directors. This board of directors will be composed of seven members. The district apostle, his two helpers, and four other apostles or, or people. And this board of directors will establish the budget. We will have to approve every expense. So, pano, to approve every expense is what the money we spend. We will decide about the investments. So, pano, to put it in a nutshell, this board of directors will rule the church. And then we'll have, as usual, the National Council with all the active apostles. And I was really enthusiastic about this plan. That's exactly what I wanted for the church. And that will be implemented in the future. In the coming days. Not before the return of the Lord, right now. And in this framework, I decided, inspired by God, to call District Apostle Helper Soko to become the new District Apostle. And now, my dear district apostle, you have to come. <laughs> come this side. My dear district apostle, come. I don't need to explain to you what it means to be a district apostle and to rule the church. You know it. And we've got a lot of time to discuss this topic in the, few, in the past. So I can make it very short. I can make it very short. And I ask the congregation to raise. So no, bingo email. My dear district apostle helper, are you willing to serve God and these people as a district apostle? Are you willing to work in oneness with the chief apostle? Are you willing to work in oneness with the chief apostle? Are you willing to work hand in hand with your two helpers and with the apostles? And to rule the church according to the chapter we defined together. Then please confirm it with your yes word. Yes. Almighty God, dear Heavenly Father, you've heard the yes word of the servant you have chosen to lead this church. Now provide him the strength the sanctification and the blessing he needs to fulfill this holy task. And sanctify me 
Y Nenzo Mundiese. That for my prayer and my laying on hands, he received the sanctification and the blessing he needs. Kodi pamene ndi mukazikisa manje pamutupache alandire chiyereso pamozi ni mudariso. Hear us in Jesus name. Tinzele ni muzina la Yesu. Amen. Ah. Well done. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Muzina la mulungu atate mwana ndi muzimu oyela. Receive the appointments to serve the Lord as a district apostle. Landilani kusanki dwa uku kutumi kila mulungu munga mutumi wachigao. For Malawi, Zimbabwe, and Zambia. Ziko la Malawi, Zimbabwe, pamozi ndi Zambia. God sanctifies you. Mulungu apu yeesa yuwe sopano. So that you can lead his people despite that you are a weak man, a sinner. Kuti usogolele antu ake. Kankale kuti ndiwe ofoka ochimwa. But God sanctifies you so that an imperfect tool can do perfect work in the name of God. Kuti mulungu sono akuyelese kuti makusova kuyela kumeneko iwe ute kugwirira nchito ana mulungu God blesses you Sono mulungu adalisa iwe He gives you the strength you need to fulfill this task Akupase mphavu yomwe ufuna kuti ukwanilise nchito imeneko Gives you the ability to learn and to gain wisdom Akupase sono nzelu za kuti upunsile unkhale wa nzelu walunda In order for his flock to get the right food so no, kuti uziwe kuti antu ake apeze cha kuleta ufunikila. Gives you the mission to make sure that the gospel is preached in the right manner in your working area. Akupase so pano utumiki wakuti utenga ulandiri ulalikidwe bwino. That the ministers that the ministers are ordained in the right manner and according to the needs of the church. Kuti asogoleli onse asogolelwe munjira ya bwino kufunikila kuninga ndiku kufunikila kwakatizi. He provides you the mission to make sure that everything is done in accordance with the law and the regulation of the church. He will bless you and bless your unity with your helpers and your forces. Do not fear the Almighty God is with you. The peace of the risen one abide with you. Mutendele wa ukayo ukalendiwe. And the blessing of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you. Ndimu daliso wa mulungu. Atate mwana ndimu zimu weyela ukalendiwe. Amen. Amen. So, my dear district apostle, my dear friends. Okonde edo mtumu wa sigao konda buwenzi langa. I thank you that you have accepted this. Ndiku yamika kuti iwe walandila kuita nidwa uku. It was not your wish. Siki nalijifu nilocha iwe. But because you are obedient, you obey to the call of Jesus. Kwa machifukwa ndiwe o mvela uziche pesa wa mvela kuita na kwa Yesu. And you follow the chief of us. Ndipo wa satila mutumu wa mukulu. And I will never forget that. Sinza yu wala chimenechi. We trust you, my dear. Siku kulupilila. All the best. Ziko mkwambili. Now oh, I have to ask the two helpers to come. So pano atandizi awili awandia pimba kuti abwele. Not but azi mango. <laughs> so my dear friends, my dear brothers, oh. I don't have to assign you again. I have been assigned as a as the district apostle helper. Abwenzi anga. So no ndifuna kuti ndi kutume ni so pano monganso otandizira mtumu wachiga. But just I want to confirm your assignment as helpers of the district apostle Soko. So no ndifuna kuti misimikize kutumidwa kwanu monga otandizira mtumu wa chigao Soko. I assign you my dear district apostle helper as helper for Zambia. So pano ndikutuma okondira mtumu wa chigao mtandizi wa Zambia. You know your task. You will be in charge of the apostles of Zambia. So pano uzi wa nchito yako wakala wa Soko ila kachisi mu Zambia. And you will help the district apostle to rule the country of Zambia. So pano uzatandiza mtumu wa chiga wa kuyende sa kachisi wa mu Zambia. And to make sure that all the rules and regulations are respected. Ndiku wona kuti maramulo onze zonze zie nila kusati lidwa. And okay, we know us since for a long time and I trust you. Tazi wana ntawi ya itali ndiponzo ndiku kulupirira. I thank you for your help. So pano ndiku ya mikela chifuko isa ndizolako. God bless you. Mulungu wa kudarise.
So I confirm you as a helper of district apostle Soko. Nikusimikiza Sopano Monga mtandizi wa mtume wa Jigao Soko for Zimbabwe and for Malawi. Wa Zimbabwe and Malawi. There's a great work to be done in these two countries you know it better than me. Nchito ndiye ikuli ochidwa maziko wa uziwa kupamba na ine. And you are a man of wisdom. Sopano ziwa. I thank you for your help. Ndiku yamika chifukwa cha ndizo lako. And I thank you for supporting the new district apostle. Ndiku yamika kuti utandizira mtume wa Jigao Sopano. Again, I trust you one. I trust you one hundred percent. You know that. So, Pano, you need to go to Pili a hundred percent. Who's your good? God bless you. Mungo Budari say thanks. Now we can close this service with prayer. So, Pano, tinga seke ma pempelo di pempelo. Almighty God, the Heavenly Father, we thank you. Mulungu ambapo zonzi tewe kumwamba tiku ya mikani. We thank you for your blessing, for your grace, for Holy Communion. We thank you for all the work done by the retired district apostle. We thank you for the new gifts you've given, you've provided us. Please bless all of them. Once more we pray for all those who are suffering. Please grant them your help. Bless the service and the offerings of your people. And provide them all they need in their daily life. Bless the free countries. Grant peace everywhere. And now we ask you once more, please shorten the time. Send your beloved son. Hear us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Now, dear brothers and sisters, it's already time. It's yeah, it's longer than planned. So no, we are planning a long one. How we are planning it? But I, I would like to make a statement as the president of the New Apostolic Church International. Nifuna kulangula mau munga oyende saka chiswa tu muzi kolonse la pansi. So if you don't mind, give me a few minutes and please be seated. Ngadi simudang hawa ndi pasi nimpindi zinga pocha be chonde kala ni pansi. First, I want to tell you a short story. In a village, a child has been beaten by a dog. And seriously injured. Oh, that was the great news in the village. Everybody talked about it. This child has been beaten by the dog of the neighbor. So everybody told the story. This story came to the next village. And there was a man who said, but I know the owner of this dog. This dog is not a bad one. This child must have ill-treated this dog, otherwise this dog wouldn't have bitten him. And he repeated it to everybody. So the story went on, and in the next village, they were told, in this village, a bad boy ill-treated a dog, and the dog has bitten him. The story went further. And within a few weeks, in all the villages of the region, it was told, in this village, a bad boy has eaten the dog of his neighbor. Now, 
And many people told this story. There was a bad boy. He has eaten the dog of his neighbor. And so because so many people said it, it became the truth. One man came and said, but do you know that child? Do you know that dog? He went to the village. I want to see the boy who has eaten the dog. But they looked at him, what, what you are you talking about? We, we had a case, a, a dog has beaten a child, but what are you talking about? In the past months, a lot of things has been said, have been said and written about the new apostolic church here in Zambia. Many lies have been invented, repeated and published. And because many people told these lies, and voted on the internet, suddenly people were convinced that's the truth. It's not because a lot of people repeat the same stupid things that they become true. These are lies. I know what was said about me, even about me. That was just invention. I asked the brothers here, don't answer these silly things. Because they will invent a new lie every day. But I tell you, brothers and sisters, we have to learn how to deal with internet. Internet can be a wonderful tool. Sadly enough, it's also a loudspeaker for city people. As a president of the New Apostolic Church International, I can tell you, when we discover that something is wrong in our church, then we investigate. We need a date, we need a place, we need witnesses, we need evidences. And when this is given, we go to the police, and we file a lawsuit. And if somebody has stolen the money of the New Apostolic Church, the money of the members, they go to prison. Around me, yes. these two apostles working in Africa, they can tell you we have some members in prison because they have stolen our money. They are over 9 million new apostolic members on earth. So that's normal from time to time. There's one who does something wrong. That's just normal. 9 million. And we want the law to be respected. But to act, we don't act when we have evidences. Don't let you manipulate it by unknown people. They have not even the beginning of an evidence. Remember the story of the dog. It's a good summary of the whole thing. Don't let these people be your spokesman. What's their legitimacy to, to speak in your name? Where are their works of faith? Where are their works of love? Where are their sacrifices for us to trust them? 
So pano kuti kuti nchito yetu kondi likuti nchito ya bila nchito kuti kuti ifa bakulu pilile bantu bamenya. Who are these people who pretend to tell and to act in your name? So pano ndane na watu bantu bamenya bakuti iyo agwire nchito ndiku langu la zinthu pazipwe makuyimirira ino kapena muzina langu. You know your chief apostle, you know your apostles, you know your brother. Muzi wa mtumwa mkulu, mtu wa mtumwa wanu, mtu wa mbaya wanu. I don't need to insist on their work of love, on their sacrifices, on their work of faith. So brothers and sisters, in the three countries, you have to make a, de to make a decision. You can trust the chief apostle, or you can trust these unknown people who want to manipulate you. That's your decision. But I trust you, I'm absolutely sure you will make the good decision. Thank you for your patience. Now let's come back to nicer things. Quiet place. <laughs>
essence of Zambia begins here. Its wealth spread across this land 